My name is Nick Schwen and I'm a GIS analyst with the city of Crestview. A GIS, or Geographic Information System, is geographic data stored in various databases and maps. Some of the things that I handle here at the city are producing maps and exhibits for board meetings and public outreach meetings, as well as analyzing the data that we have and maintaining our interactive web map. Now, I'm going to show you some of the basic functions of our interactive web map. To get to the interactive web map, you can search cityofcrestview.org and on the home page, go to the Government tab and go down under Departments to Community Development Services. Then, on this top row of buttons, you'll find the Crestview Interactive Map button. This will bring you to the Interactive Web Map page. From here, you can use the map in this smaller screen or you can click this button here to make it bigger. The first of the basic functions of our web map is the ability to search for addresses or parcel IDs. So in this case, I'm going to search for the address for City Hall, which is 198 North Wilson Street. This will bring you down to where the address point is for 198 North Wilson Street. The next thing that you can do is go up to this folder icon in the top right corner of the page you can click it on and off, and it'll bring down some drop downs for all of the layers, boundaries and districts, property, transportation, and environmental. If you click all layers, you can see all of the layers available on the web map. Right now, I'm going to turn on parcels and street names, as well as address points. From here, you can click on the parcel. Within the parcel lines, you can see the ID number, the acreage, the owner, use description, and address, and you can also click on more info to see the property appraiser card. If you click on the address point, you'll see the parcel ID, address, and a map to see the street view on Google Maps. After you turn on layers in the layer pane, such as zoning, you can click this button next to the folder icon that says Legend, and it will show you, in this case, what all of these different colors mean for zoning. In this case, the property where City Hall is, is zoned Mixed Use Neighborhood Commercial, as you can see in the legend. Now that we know the basics of what this web map can do, let's look at a more specific example. For instance, what if you wanted to add an addition onto your house? First, you would search your address. Once you're at your property, you can open up the Layers panel, turn on your zoning, and then open up your legend. In this case, the property is zoned Mixed Use Neighborhood Commercial. Then, this button up here next to the title, labeled Zoning Code, will take you to all of the city zoning regulations for all of the various zones. There you can find all of the regulations that will apply to your addition. Now that you know the regulations of your zoning district, you can turn off the zoning layer and open up the Draw tab in the top right corner. Here there are a various number of draw modes that you can use, but I'm just going to use the Polygon Draw tool. Then I'll go to the map and I'll draw the shape where I think I want my addition to be. Now that I have the shape drawn, I can open up the measurement tool, which is next to the draw tool, set it to the length measurement, and then set it to feet. Now I can measure all of the required distances for my zoning district and see whether or not it meets the regulations. At this point, I can click this icon under the search bar which is the print button. And from there, I have a bunch of options that I can use to configure how I want my print to show. And then I click the print button and I wait for it to create a PDF that I can print out. Then I can print out this PDF, write all my setback distances from my property lines to my structure. And in this case, I can bring it to the permitting department along with my permit for my addition. These are just a few of the things you can do with the GIS web map. You can find the GIS web map on the City of Crestview website at cityofcrestview.org 
under the Community Development Services Department. If you have any questions, feel free to email the department at cds at cityofcrestview.org or call the number 850-682-1560, option 7.